Hi, and welcome to Atomic Darts. I'm your host, Matthew. On this channel, we take a look at darts, darts-related materials, and other items that you, our subscribers, ask us to review. So why don't you take a second, become a subscriber, hit the bell down below, and you'll know whenever I post a new video. Let's get into today's exciting item that we're going to review. This is something that every darts household, every darts player, I would say every dart board in the world needs to have. All right, let's find out what that is right now. Today we're taking a look at the Wingward Sight Right 2 Perfect Dart Vision. This is an item that I, again, think every dart board in the world needs to have to some degree attached in the room. It's got to be available to help you get your sight right. Whether you're new to darts, seasoned pro, somewhere in the middle there, or even thinking about getting into darts, this is something that you certainly want to have. It will help you get your sight centered so that you can start throwing accurately. Let's dive in to the box itself. We're gonna open this up. We'll talk a little bit more about the system. So let's go and open this up here real quick. This is just a really nice item here. Here's a look at the actual physical piece. It is made of wood. It's a really nice piece. It's got a little weight to it. We have a double 10 line, our center line, and our double 16 line. And this is raised off of this piece. You can see how there's like a shelf here. This is a raised piece. And that's to give us the ability to center the line. If it was just a straight line, you're not really gonna be centering off anything. You need something to break up the line to give you the ability to center it so that it'll look cockeyed or a little out of whack you know, versus if it's like that, you're not gonna see anything. So you need that little bit of off-centering by having the two different heights on that wood. So again, nice black with the white, really stands off, gives you that ability to kind of see that. So I have gone ahead and moved my shelf so that I can put this up against the ground. We can use the plum to go and get the center. Let's go ahead and get the camera on the ground and we're gonna do that now. So I did come across one big issue when setting this up, and their plumb line they send you is just fishing line. And unfortunately, as you take it out of the package, it tangles into this nice mess, and so you can't use it. So here's the deal. This right here, when you get it, just take that little packet and do that with it. Throw it away. Go get yourself something halfway decent that you can use as a plumb line. A nice piece of string, something. I happen to have a chain, and this is actually designed to help you measure your Aki or the height of your dartboard. So I went ahead and just stuck that into the center of the bullseye to get me lined up here. All right, let's take a look at the sight right on the ground and we'll get this thing lined up and then we'll see how it works with the dartboard and some darts, of course. So as you can see here, I've laid this down, I've got my chain hung and that's the center of my dartboard. So I need to move this over so that I'm centered up with that chain and that's gonna give me the center of my dartboard right there. So now that I'm centered, let's go ahead and step back a little and we'll throw some darts and get an idea of how this thing works. So here's a look from a standing position at the Aki. You can see that that line's fairly straight as you look here, but if I shift a little over this direction, see how it gets out of line? See how that center line is a little out of line? You can definitely see it over there on the 10. Then if I rock back a little, a little more centered on there, and if I rock a little to the right, see how it goes off center? That's what you're looking for, is you're looking to get this centered. And the funny thing is, I thought my carpet was way more centered than it is. This could be why I've been throwing so far off for a while now, since I got this setup put in. So this is also gonna help you set up your dartboard based off of how you have a carpet, because you can line it up and then put your carpet in, or whatever you're using for an Aki. I just happen to have the carpet runners. All right, so again, if I lean a little to the left, you can see how it goes off center, and then I can center it back up, and then I can lean a little bit to the right, and then that, it goes off center there. All right, so that's what you're looking for when doing this. All right, let's go ahead and throw some darts. Now that I feel like, hey, maybe I've got myself a little bit better centered, let's go ahead and throw some darts and see how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up properly for a change and throw some darts. So if you've watched any of my past videos, you'll know that I seem to complain that I'm off center when looking at the board, and now I know why. Again, this is why I think every dart board in the world needs this attached to it. It needs to be part of the mix. Again, if you're new to darts, you're a beginner at darts, you're an intermediate player, world's okay as darts player right here, or if you're a professional and you're just trying to tweak that game a little, 
this is an apparatus that's gonna help you a lot. And I know the question is, okay Matt, what's this cost and where can I buy it? Well, the only place I have seen where I could purchase it was at Darts Corner. I haven't seen it in the US. Hopefully at some point it will be here. So here's the catch. It's about $17 or so US from Darts Corner. And then it's about $30 US to get it shipped to the States. Now, if you're in Europe, UK, over on that side of the pond, shipping is gonna be different depending on where it's going. But for us to get it, it's double what the unit costs almost to have it shipped. Now, I wanted this thing really bad, so I ponied up for the shipping to get this. And I'll tell you what, at this point, I haven't even thrown a dart yet, but just to see how far off I was, it's worth every penny I've paid just at this point. Let's go ahead and throw some darts and see if I can get my life centered. Finally, let's do it. So I'm looking down at my center line. I've got it lined up properly. Take my eyes up here. Still a little to the right, but I feel like everything looks more centered when looking at the dartboard. Try that again. So I'm centering up my, my center line down here, making sure that it's not a little out of whack, but just trying to make sure I'm centered. Now I can feel my throw when it's a little off. So the darts are going a little right, but not in the same fashion as they were previously when I was throwing. Let's give it one last throw and then I'll kind of give you a wrap up on how I feel this is actually straightening up my life. That is a look at the Sightrite 2 by Winmo Darts. Again, this thing is pretty awesome. I'm excited that I got it. It's definitely given me a different vision of the dartboard. I, again, recommend that anybody that has a dartboard that's trying to get a little bit better at darts, pick one of these up. I know that the shipping cost can be a little bit of a hindrance for here to the US. Again, I'm in California, so if you're on the East Coast, it might be slightly different. It might save you a couple of bucks, but it's definitely an item that you want when practicing to get better and lining up. Again, just that aspect of being able to come to the Aki, feel confident that you're in the right place and able to get the throw in that you want. This is gonna help that out and it might straighten up your life like it's doing for my life. That's a review of the Sight Right 2. This has been Atomic Darts. I'm your host, Matthew. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.